Still talking about war, but this time the lingering war between Russia and Ukraine, which is playing out into some drama of international interest in Russia. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of Wagner, the military contract group engaged by Russia in its war with Ukraine, has rejected accusations of treason by President Vladimir Putin after his troops crossed from Ukraine into the Russian, the border city of Rostov-on-Don. Mr. Prigozhin uh, posted an audio message on message online claiming his forces are taking control of military facilities in the city vowing to fight anyone who tried to stop them. In an emergency televised address, President Putin said the armed mutiny by Wagner amounts to treason and anyone who took up arms against the Russian military will be punished. There is more in this report. Russian President Vladimir Putin said an armed mutiny by the Wagner Group mercenary force was treason and that anyone who had taken up arms against the Russian military would be punished. Speaking during an emergency televised address, President Putin said he would do everything possible to protect Russia and that decisive action would be taken to stabilize the situation in Rostov and Don, a southern city where the Wagner chief said his forces had taken control of all military installations. The head of the Russian military contractor Yevgeny Prigozhin has rejected accusations of treason by President Putin. On Saturday, Mr. Prigozhin posted an audio message on the social media app Telegram, claiming his forces are taking control of military facilities in the city, including the airfield. Videos and pictures posted online, including by Russia's Stars news agency, showed armed men surrounding administrative buildings in Rostov and tanks deployed in the city center. The Federal Security Service said Mr. Prigozhin's actions were a call to start an armed civil conflict on the territory of the Russian Federation and a stab in the back to Russian servicemen fighting Ukrainian forces. In response, Russian authorities said security has been tightened in several regions and the mayor of Moscow announced that anti-terrorist measures were being taken in the capital. Russia's defense ministry addressed Wagner's mercenary fighters in a statement, saying they had been deceived and dragged into a criminal adventure. It urged them to contact its representatives and those of law enforcement services and promised to guarantee their security. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the armed insurrection was evidence of Russia's inherent political instability. Talk about the twists and turns in the lingering war. The chairman, Nigerians in diaspora, Russia, Dr. Godwin Ibe, is joining me from Moscow. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on World Now. Can you provide us with the latest updates on the situation involving Yevgeny Prigozhin and the Wagner mercenary force? W what led to uh, his dramatic challenge and the accusations of betrayal and treason? Well, there's been... Um Trading blames that have been going on for quite a while, as you've rightly pointed out, between Yevgeny Prigozhin and the Ministry of Defense. But I think what uh, led to breaking the straw on the camel's back, or the last straw on the camel's back, was the accusation of Yevgeny Prigozhin of friendly fire of the forces on the line. Well, this is his version. I'm not saying it's true or not. I, I wasn't there. The video evidence provided didn't provide uh, the time or the point of attack, the direction of attack, or even the moment uh, leading up to, up, up to the impact. We only saw the um, alleged aftermath. So um, we can't say there's no evidence for the public uh, who, do, who doesn't have classified information to know whether it was really true or false. But we've heard the classification by the Russian president who has called it mutiny, armed insurgency, a stab in the back, a betrayal of the country and the people. Mm. And I think that no matter the disagreement between the, the forces, it doesn't warrant mutiny, it doesn't warrant armed insurgency, especially in a nuclear state like Russia. I'm also getting the latest report that some of the foot soldiers in Wagner were unaware of the plan uh, of taking over. They, they, as I hear, they thought that they were just protecting the city and not uh, um, staging any mutiny or uh, requiring the uh, heads of the Ministry of Defense to come over to the city. 
that's what I hear. Um, but of course, there's counterterrorism operation going on right now in many regions, including Moscow, Moscow region. Uh, we can see armed uh, colons um, on the streets. And uh, of course, this entails restriction of movement and po possibly economic operation. Mm. So if that's the case, what, what, do you, what do you consider the potential implications of uh, this internal power struggle within the Russian military and the Wagner Group for Russia's domestic stability and security? Oh, I, I think it will come and pass. It's not a, it's not, it's, it's a, it's a challenge. It's a probably, possibly a difficult challenge, but it's not insurmountable. I, I think it will end really quickly because we're talking about a force, like as uh, Prigozhin has said, a 25,000 soldiers strong. Uh, it's not enough to challenge, obviously, any military. But the, the point is that, the point is that for it happening in the first place, and this is coming on the back of the field, uh, Ukrainian military counteroffensive that has seen the loss of tens of thousands of lives, hundreds of tanks, and also the recent uh, Russian military advances in places like Bakhmut, or also known as Artyomovsk, Solidar, Marinka, and the Krasnoliman front lines. So uh, it's, of course, it's a challenge because it's a city. No one is going to, you know, attack a city where there are civilians living, mm -hmm. but it all has to do with negotiation to ensure that the least dangerous possible outcome is uh, achieved. Uh, and I, I agree with the president that uh, it's a challenge to, uh, to Russia, rather, because he didn't warrant this mutiny, but it's not something that's unsurmountable. You also have to uh, consider the fact that a lot of Russians, uh, like you read on the Russian um, internet portals, yeah. um, have been pushing the president to you know, take more action. But the president has shown wisdom and restraint and uh, there's uh, there's a lot of um, uh, everyone have their wishes on how they want uh, the outcome to be. But you know, with the limited information we have, we may not be in the best position to understand why some decisions are being taken. Interesting. Well, we'll continue to monitor the issues you know between Russia and Wagner, and also Russia and Ukraine, which is actually affecting you know the stability of the uh, of Europe and some other countries who, which are reeling from this uh, war. The chairman, Nigerians in Diaspora, Russia, uh, Dr. Godwin Ibe, thank you so much. For thank you time. for having me.